Well, greetings, everyone. Uh, well, what we're going to be doing uh, today is go through a uh, walkthrough survey uh, of this facility. Uh, this is Caprillion Hall on campus uh, at USC. Uh, now, it's going to be a little bit different in the sense that we know that this facility is part of uh, the whole campus. Uh, however, uh, we're going to treat this as a standalone customer. And what we're going to be doing is uh, going through this facility, some of the different areas we're going to be looking at, uh, looking at all the different water usages, uh, potentially, and some of the actual cross connections and how they're protected or how may, they may not be. The key thing here is to give you a, a taste of uh, what it is to do a walkthrough survey uh, on this facility. A uh, couple of things, uh, as we mentioned earlier, the fact that this is part of campus. Uh, in reality, uh, the campus itself uh, does have backflow protection. There are actually multiple services coming into this facility. Uh, we have three services. Uh, they all have backflow protection. Uh, so there is service protection uh, at each of the services. Uh, the other thing is you'll see as we go through this facility, there is a lot of internal backflow protection. So not only does, uh, is there service protection, but there's also quite a bit of internal protection. Uh, so we're going to be looking at this uh, as a standalone customer. Now, I want to talk about that um, there's two perspectives in which you come in uh, as a cross connection control uh, specialist. Uh, one is you could be somebody who is a water purveyor who is going to be protecting the water distribution system, uh, as opposed to a health or plumbing official uh, who's going to be uh, protecting all the internal. Uh, water usage and so forth. Uh, for this class, what we're going to be leaning towards is the fact that we're going to take on the perspective of a water purveyor. In other words, your role uh, in regards to cross connection control is to protect the water distribution system uh, as a water purveyor. So in addition to going through this facility and looking at all the different water using equipment and the water using systems, one of the other things that we want to do is kind of show you what's going to happen on Thursday. Uh, so what we're going to have Patrick do uh, is um, every once in a while ask some questions to uh, kind of give you an idea of what you need to uh, do on Thursday. Some of the questions he's going to ask about some of the things that uh, you as a student would be looking for when you do a survey. Uh, so you'll hear every once in a while where Patrick will come in and ask some questions about what's going on here. Okay, so now as we uh, uh, start out here, let's kind of look at this building and see where we're at. So let's say we made an appointment uh, to see and survey this facility. So we're here in Caprillion Hall, um, and as we mentioned earlier, we're going to treat this as a standalone customer. Uh, and one of the questions that you're going to have as part of doing this survey is understanding what kind of things are done in this facility. Uh, what kind of water usages there are. Uh, so a lot of times when you do your plan review, you do your uh, pre-work out there, uh, those are the, some of the things that you're going to be looking for in preparation for the survey work that you're going to be doing. Uh, so we're looking at Caprillion Hall. I mean, some of you are going, what, what is this building? What is a Caprillion Hall? Um, do, what, what widgets do they make in here? Uh, is it a manufacturing plant? Is it just an office facility? So those are the kind of things that uh, you need to understand to get a better feel, a better perspective of some of the different water using equipment that you're going to see across uh, this facility here. And as we mentioned, our perspective is going to be coming in as a water purveyor. So really the, the key thing is not necessarily finding every little thing that's in this facility, but the key is it finding enough things so that you can justify your decision uh, for backflow protection at the service to protect the water distribution system. Um, so as we look around, you know, one of the things that we ask everybody when you start your survey is where do you start your survey at? Uh, you see Caprillion Hall and you go, okay, so where do you start? So one of the key things that happens, hopefully, as you're going through this, is you ask where or you find out where the water line is coming into this facility. Where is the service coming in? Uh, and then from there, you can then trace out the different uh, lines that go through the building to the different water using equipment, and then survey each of the different water usages to determine 
uh, the different things that you need to look out for. Uh, things like what type of cross connection, uh, what degree of hazard, um, you know, and if, if any backflow protection is there or is needed for that particular water usage, okay? So let's go ahead and get started uh, and survey here. Uh, we're gonna first go to where the water comes into this facility. But as you go to that, notice a couple of things. Just looking around this facility, you'll notice that there's potential water usages here. For example, the landscape. You see all the gardening, all the flowers, all the grass, all the plants and so forth. One of the initial questions may be, hey, how is the water being used to uh, feed the, the, uh, the landscape here? Uh, is it as simple as somebody just bringing a hose and just watering everything down? Uh, or, or is there more of a system here, like an irrigation system? Uh, and you'll see as you walk around looking for those kinds of things, again, we'll give you a better idea of what the water usage is, the different uh, uh, potential uh, hazards that are here in regards to cross connections.